Pardon? Can I have a house tour? Today? Yeah. Come on then, I'll fit you in quick. <laughs> Welcome to the video. Don't mind me as I bang my head on this <laughs> little lampshade. Today, we're gonna give you a house tour because we haven't done one yet. We've been in this house, what else, four months? Yeah. Four months. And even though the house is not completely finished, we thought, We'll do one anyway, because we can always do an updated one in the future. And everyone says that, don't they? Everyone's always like, yeah. I'm not gonna do a house tour because my house is not, the house is never gonna be completely finished. So we thought we'd just show you anyway. This is what it looks like as you walk into the house. Yeah, so you come into the house and we've got this nice hallway, which we really liked. It looks a bit enclosed at the moment because we've got the door shut, but we did love this about the house, didn't we? Because a lot of two beds we looked at, they were quite closed off. So as you come through the house, You've got your kitchen on the right, which is what Ellen is in now. You've got a bathroom in here, and then you've got the staircase to your left, and also the living room, which is just through there. So this is the downstairs bathroom, or our cloakroom. room. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of coats here at the moment. It's probably, it's kind of hard to be honest when you're using the toilet, but we went with just a very clean white sort of look, didn't we? I'll give you a quick tutorial of the Nobody toilet. wants to see that. So yeah, we went with just a really, it's a very, very small bathroom, but it does the job. Mm -hmm. um, so we went with marble tiles on here. We've added this little metal yeah. shelf. Got a black small mirror up here, which is from... Matalan. Matalan. We've got our little towel here from H&M Home on a towel holder. And then we've also recycled this old mirror, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> We've recycled this old mirror which we had in our flat and chucked it up here. Does look a bit weird with the black and white, but oh it, well, works. it works, I also, think. Also, we have got a downstairs window, but for some reason, this doesn't open. Okay, right, kitchen time. Your, is your videography skills up to scratch here? I'm trusting oh, you with this. Know. Kind of got to fight the coats <laughs> back in there. And then mm. you come through to our kitchen. So, oh, but, oh shit, we didn't say about the flooring. So the flooring is laminate wood effect this is we had this option with taylor wimpy we'll try and put up but we had it going from the hallway to the kitchen come through to the kitchen which is not the biggest kitchen but it's not the smallest either we'll start over here so we went with a be beko beko fridge um which huh it's beko not beko <laughs> We went with the Beko fridge. This clock is from Home Bargains, yeah. The worktops we went for are like these sort of dark- it's Dark ash. Dark ash, yeah. is it? Yeah. Remember when we moved in and we completely forgot what we chose? So we were like- I still swear to this day we didn't choose this. But... No, but we like it. Yeah. And then we've kind of got like off-white colored um, cupboards and drawers. So we have got a gas hob mm -hmm. and it is a Zanussi hob and we've also got a Zanussi oven. My mother swears by these and it's been good, isn't it, Al, so far? Yeah. We've got these, which we got from Matalan as well, I believe. Cream, Breville, kettle to match. And then also we have got my coffee machine, which I got for Christmas, which is a Julet, I think you pronounce it, coffee machine. And then we have got our vase, which I actually really like this vase. It's like a marble effect vase with some dodgy looking flowers, which we picked up today because I trimmed them badly, didn't I? Yeah, I let Fab do them for once. <laughs> We're gonna switch this bin out for a double bin so that we can easily do our recycling because at the moment we just end up chucking recycling on there. Don't and we? it drives me mad. Or oh, using my washing basket. Oh yeah, the washing basket. <laughs> oh yeah, and here's our print we got. Eat pasta, run faster. Because we used to eat a lot of pasta. We, we don't, don't really eat, anymore. Yeah. So I we guess, I guess we can just... You take them through your cupboards, Al. Cupboard? You... Oh yeah. I organised the cupboards. So, so here are my newly organised cupboards. Al's literally just done this mm -hmm. earlier on. Look at that. We'll, tr we'll track up a photo of what it was like before because it wasn't very good, was it? It was a mess. It was a bloody mess. So, so yeah, that's all sorted now. And then we've also sorted this cupboard out. Yeah, we got our we keep our microwave down here because we don't like it. Be well, Al doesn't like it being out here. I don't here. like stuff being on the side. Like those bottles there are uh, Sorry. making me feel funny. We've got our hot point fridge. For what? Fridge? <laughs> It's a funny looking fridge. <laughs> with the kitchen, none of the appliances came with it. We went with the option. I mean, is there any point in me being in this video? <laughs> you're so you're short, man. Okay, you're kind of so with the kitchen, we decided to go with the standard option, which was basically no appliances, because we figured the other option was quite expensive, wasn't it? It was like 1,100 pound more. It was, yeah, for like a appliances. washing machine, kitchen, and a, dish, a single dishwasher. What are you it? saying? 
A washing machine, a kitchen, <laughs> a washing machine, a fridge, and a dishwasher. They they um, quoted one thousand one hundred pound for, and that was only the basic appliances. So we just thought we would get ours. Yeah, and um, it was all built in, wasn't it? So when you actually leave yeah, the house, true. you wouldn't be able to take it with you. So if you're buying a new build house, that's something to consider. Yeah. Are you going to be there long enough, like to warrant it being built in? It's and probably left there. and left there. Yeah, you're better off buying your own, aren't you? Yeah, because yeah. like, we can take ours with us now. Should we move into the living room, which is my favourite? Go on then, I'll let you okay. show. Okay. By the way, these doors, we love these doors, don't yeah. we? And they came standard. I know a lot of places you have to pay extra for these style of doors. Don't know what they're called, but yeah, they came standard. So, living room. Here is the living room. So we went with the grey carpet that sort of matches the vinyl that we've got. We've got one yeah. of these new digital <laughs> fireplaces. So bloody hot this one is actually mm. so this came as like a it's quite expensive but so fab didn't actually tell me that he'd put that fireplace on and it crackles and this door was shut a minute ago and i panicked because i've left my wax burner on over there thinking that i'd set fire to the whole living room so here is the dining area in the living room this table we got from ikea and we absolutely love this it's kind of like a concrete effect and then it's got the nice black legs underneath which we really liked and our dining chairs are from Etsy. Yeah. Now they didn't come like this. They came with horrible wood effect legs, which just, just looked disgusting, didn't it? So we sprayed them. We sprayed them black and now they fit in nicely with the table, which is good. Up on the wall, we have got these bay, are they called like bay mirror style? I'm not sure. They're I call them windows. <laughs> window mirrors, yeah. But we got them from Home Bargains, believe it or not, yeah. for an absolute steal. I think they're still in there now. Eight pounds. Eight pound each. Our sofa we got from DFS. Harvey's. Harvey's. So we had an absolute palaver trying to find a sofa because of this gap. So originally we'd measured the gap. We'd looked for a sofa for ages to fit that gap. And then when we came in and measured our house, when it was like at the first fix stage, it was actually a bit off, wasn't it? Oh no. This, this sofa fits perfectly. Now the moment of truth to see if it'll fit in this gap or not. Oh my God. Please God, please God. Now that'll go in, that'll go in. No way! <laughs> We've got our prints just above, which are from Decenio, aren't they? They are from And Decenio, the frames yeah. are from the range. Yeah. This one, we won't read it out to you, but it's just a nice quote that we like. You can pause the video and read it if you want. The curtain pole up there is from Denelm. It's just a, like a really nice shiny oh, grey colour. Metallic kind of colour. Metallic colour, yeah. And then these are from... The range. They're from the range. They were quite expensive, actually. Were they? Yeah, like sixty-five pounds. But sixty-five quid. I did not realise how expensive curtains are. Some of them are like eighty quid, aren't they? Yeah. What? I found some designer ones in Home Sense that were absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah, they were like forty. Didn't quid. They, yeah, they were like forty quid, and this was before we'd moved in. It was like two months before we moved in. Weren't yeah. We? And you were like, no, we'll be able to find some equally as nice, but for cheaper when we come to move. And yeah. I was going, no, you wouldn't. Fam. No, you won't. I didn't fam. realise the price of <laughs> curtains. Nah. We're gonna get a steamer. And try and get these creases out yeah, they're, they're like slowly so dropping out heavy, aren't they? they're very heavy curtains um and they're quite long as well so we need to steam them to get that yeah. to drop out so for ages we were trying to find a footstool like this one weren't we yeah for absolutely ages um we were putting stuff on our instagram we were asking people where they got theirs from anyway we came across um a company called furniture 321 or 123 one of the two um, and we found this one and it was in sale what's it, it something... called xena with it, a, with an X. Is it, yeah, called like X Xena. Yeah. Xena large footstool. Yeah. And I think it was actually a hundred and fifty pound. Around that. I yeah. want to say hundred and fifty pound, yeah. but the quality of it is just yeah, very good it's quality. Perfect. It is perfect, and the oh, size is good too. And then we've just got this mirrored tray on the top. Which we actually get a lot of questions about where that's from. Where is it That from? is from Home Bargains. Right. Seven pound. Mrs. Hinchbuck, which I got L for Christmas. Ellen's got this little aero looking candle on here and just some fake flowers. This floating TV cabinet is from Ikea and it's the same sort of style. It, I think it's exactly the same as our dining table, well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they're both from Ikea, so. Yeah, they're both from Ikea and we managed to get it mounted on the wall using grip it wall plugs, didn't we? Eventually, for ages. Best invention. Yeah. Yeah, they're incredible. So check out the vlog if you want to see us. And that's doing another that. reason why we haven't done the house tour because this was originally on the floor, which we both didn't like it on the no. floor, did we? And then the TV was on top of that, and we were just like, oh, we want to wait until we 
do the house tour until things are like yeah as we have planned so yeah we wanted to get it on the wall it. that is the name of the cabinet for anyone wondering so on the cabinet we have got some recent additions we have got pampas grass in this vase that Elle got from H&M. Apparently, if you have pampas grass in your house, it means you're a swinger. But no, we're, we're, not. we're not swingers. So yeah, this vase is from H&M. These are from PLT. And there's a nice, this is actually my bum molded into a candle. To the side, we have got these two white baskets, which where are they from, Elle? Denelm. Denelm. And we've also got this lantern, which is from home bargains <laughs> along with a dodgy candle which we've had to cut to make it fit in our tv is a sony bravia i believe i think it's 49 inch is it why have you got a rabbit in your back al oh because i've got a really bad back <laughs> bless her el has got a bad back so she's got a hot water bottle rabbit she's been icing and putting heat on it all day so we definitely need to put something up here so we're still undecided, maybe some shelving. We we're originally gonna put shelving up here. So yeah, we'll probably do that at some point, but I absolutely love how this looks. Okay, so this is our downstairs cupboard, which is where we kind of dump everything. It's quite dark in here, we haven't got a light, but this is basically like our utility cupboard where we have got our tumble dryer. Lots of people are probably watching this thinking, wow, well, I've got a tumble dryer in there, but um, yeah. we have checked. Um, and we have done our research and you can have a condenser tumble dryer in a cupboard as long as you have it up. Raise you, it. They say don't put it onto the carpet because it can start a fire. So we have actually put Yeah, we've got um, wooden blocks, blocks underneath. underneath. So in here we keep our, we've got our old Hoover there. We've got our new Dyson and obviously some stuff that we use like the iron. This and then our... this is our shoe rack, which I absolutely love this from Ikea. So good at saving space, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so this is the garden at the moment. We have got big plans for the garden. Um, we've got family members hopefully coming around later on in the year to help us rip up all of the garden. So yeah. what it looks like now, it's not gonna look like that um, in a couple of months. We're ripping it all up. We're putting AstroTurf down, we're having decking slabbing the sheds moving before we go upstairs right this is going to sound weird but when we moved into this house i was absolutely buzzing that we had stairs because growing up my mum and dad had a bungalow which they did convert to have the attic turned into their room but i never got to go up there so i never really had i never experienced living in a house and having stairs so as weird as that sounds i was absolutely buzzing when we moved in here wasn't i al yeah. about having the stairs. Oh yeah, you've not had Yeah, them. I've not had stairs. <laughs> Do you know what the funny thing is? Fab's not used to having stairs. So nine times out of 10 when he's coming down them, he'll come down them too quick. He's a bit like a puppy <laughs> coming down the stairs too quick and yeah. you, you lose control. Of <laughs> okay, so these pictures, well, picture frames, we're actually printing um, pictures off. So special pictures for us. Yeah. Um, to go in these, they're gonna be black and white though. Yeah, we haven't chosen what we want yet. And we're also probably gonna do like another pattern yeah. just below to sort of fill this wall out. Yeah. Here we've got a little canvas of Will's brother. Will's brother. Oh God, I can't speak <laughs> today of Al's brother. Okay, right, up the stairs, Al. Okay, so yeah. Ah, <laughs> Sorry. And then this is a new addition as well, isn't yeah. it? This is our new mirror, which we also got from the range, didn't we? Yeah. It's kind of like, this weird rustic style. Shabby chic. Shabby chic, yeah. And it's a decent size and it just makes this landing look a lot bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. And then we've got this clock at the moment, which is from my mum, which we might change and put somewhere else because I think I want like a white or a gray clock to go on there. Um, so. Yeah, I, I quite like the contrast. Yeah? I do like it there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and this, Catastrophe. Oh, oh yeah. I don't even know how that even got there. Just one day I got home and it was there. I think that it cost a pound. Up. But yeah, that's going, and I want to get a chandelier like the one downstairs. Oh god, not another one. We've got the same carpet, haven't we, Al? Yeah. As what we got downstairs, upstairs. We love this carpet. Now is Ellen's favourite room. Come on then, take it away. Hang on a minute, we got clothes in here. Okay, let's move the move the clothes quick. Quick, 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 quick. Get them out of the way. So this is our bedroom and this is my favorite room in the house i did a lot of planning research looking on pinterest for this room yeah i wanted somewhere that was light and bright and just felt clean and cozy and i think we've hit the nail on the head really yeah um so we've got these bedside cabinets um, which are mirrored which i absolutely love i feel like they make this room look a lot brighter i really i really like that they 
that they're mirrored. We then got these lights which are from the range, I want to say. The range, yeah. The range, yeah. And then we've got these candles here. They're from Primark, Primark aren't they? yeah. And then we've got um, these flowers here which are from Danelle. Our bed is from the worst company in the world and they can come for me for saying that. <laughs> this bed's from Arista Living. We bought it because um, lots of YouTubers, um, influencers, you know, have a 50% off discount code. So I thought, oh great, it is an Ottoman storage. It looks beautiful and it, it does the job, doesn't it? However, yeah. the process of getting that bed was a nightmare. I spent hours of my life trying to get through to that company. Now now we've got it and stuff, it is okay, but the process of getting it, anybody who asks, I'm just like, no! This is from Ikea, isn't it? Yeah, which still, I love. Still not a massive fan of that, to be I honest. I just think it's so cosy. It looks, I still think it looks like cobwebs. <laughs> um, the bedding. Yeah. We absolutely love this bedding. Fab's mum bought us this bedding. Yeah. Um, your mum bought us so much for the house. She has, thanks mum. So yeah, this bedding is beautiful. It looks so expensive. Um, and it's just, I absolutely love it. It's like really, like, is it glamorous, the right word? I guess. It, like, it looks really high end and it feels really high end. Now, shall we show them what you did? What? To my beautiful oh, bedside. I accidentally, well, it wasn't even my fault. A can. No, it was your fault. So basically, on this window ledge, we had a candle, which we used to light every night. I was making the bed, accidentally knocked the candle, and this happened <laughs> oh god there's probably a lot of you cringing at the moment but yeah i basically cracked all the way along here and underneath here there's like um yeah all the bits and pieces are coming off but we're, this is velcroed on there to keep it all together so very cowboy we're not really sure what to do with this probably eventually we'll try and switch them out but for now I mean, it's not too bad. I'm kind of used to it now. It makes me really sad. So this is a very recent addition as well. We mounted our TV onto the wall um, using a swivel mount so that when we're in bed, we can pull it out and watch TV in bed. We used the grip it wall plugs for that again, didn't we, Al? Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, next, my favorite item in the whole house, and that is Dippy. So yeah, these are our, that's Ellen's childhood toy, Dippy. And my mum, my mum bought us this when we moved in because it's got the same name as me. Well, kind of. His name's Fabula and my name is Fabian. So we keep them together. Mm, what is it? Like a... Standing mirror? Yeah, but it's kind of like a, like an old school. Old, like, Vic, I don't even know. Like Bridgerton style. Bridgerton? That's a series on Netflix. Yeah, but like that kind of era. Anyway, this is our um, standing mirror, which is from the range. We do, we get lots of questions about this mirror as well. It's from the range. And do you know what? It wasn't, um, it looks mega expensive, I think, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, it does it look nice. Like 100, 100 quid, pound, which, which probably is quite expensive for a mirror, but it's big. That's and what she said. It's like, um, that's what she said. Yeah. That um, fits in nicely in that corner, mm -hmm. which then leads on to our chest of drawers. I always call them yeah, chest oh of drawers. Oh my God, if you follow us on Instagram, I was so embarrassed when... <laughs> yeah, I, I called them chest of drawers. I was like, drawers. why someone said it's called chest of drawers on our Instagram post? And look, to I would put chest of drawers. These are from Ikea and they're quite expensive. Look at us, like we haven't got any money. Mm. Well, they are expensive. They're 170 quid. Yeah, they're like 100, well, 160 quid, I think. Yeah, but again, we got a bloody bargain, mate. We are bargain hunters. Oh. We literally saved ourselves. How much? Wow, we saved ourselves 130 pound. We paid 30 pound for these and we painted them, refurbed them, absolutely nothing wrong with them. So yeah. it's nothing to be embarrassed about by that. You spend enough money buying a bloody house, so you may as well save money where you can. But then we've got our photo album, which has got loads of photos in actually from yeah. over the years we've been together. That's cool that is, that's from... Um, Home, Home Ho Sense. Yeah. Home Sense that's from. That's from Home Sense, so we've started putting all our photos in here. This is from Aldi. Yeah. Um, this candle smells really good, doesn't it? Yeah. So much better than the White Company ones. However, it gives you a banging headache or gives me a banging headache when yeah. we have it on, doesn't it? Um, and then we've got these things. Where are these things from? Um, I don't know. Got another one over here. And then we've got um, my little bit of glitz and glam in the bedroom, <laughs> um, which is the mirrored clock. And your mum bought me that for my birthday. Yeah. And then let's talk about that. This was another thing I forced Fab to have in the bedroom, but I think this ties the whole bedroom together. It makes it feel so much cozier. It's here. grown on me. It kind of looks like a dead chicken it, is on the yeah, roof. Yeah. 
I mean, we always joke about that, don't we? But it does actually look really good. I think it suits this room really well. Yeah. Especially, I've, I've just figured out why. It's because that's feathers and, then, and we've got feathers on the print in the background. So I'm that's probably why. It makes, makes everything just look softer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It gives a real soft feeling to this room. It does, yeah. If you have one of these cupboards in the bedroom, we were originally going to buy a big wardrobe to go there, weren't we? Yeah. But it would have taken up a lot of space. So we thought, all oh, right, we'll change the cupboard into a wardrobe. Yeah. And it's a bit messy. <laughs> but yeah, we just added these rails. My dad helped us add these rails in. Um, mine's at the top, Ellen's at the bottom. It saves a lot of space because, as, as Elle said, we were going to have a big cupboard here. But then we wouldn't have had it, you know, that would have been filled with a cupboard. No. So with our shoes, we've got all this oh stuff. Oh God, it's a mess. Oh well, doesn't matter. So yeah, we've got a box here, which we keep all of our shoes in. And all our bedding. And all towels. our bedding and bags and, and like luggage. Duvet. All kinds of stuff, which just saves us a hell of a lot of room. We'd be screwed if we didn't have this. Moving on through into our upstairs bathroom. Now this, we kind of made a bit of a bad choice on it, didn't we? Because you'll see in a second, but it doesn't look bad, but we kind of wish we went with different flooring because let's just show. Well, let's different show flooring it. and different tiles. Yeah, when... let's just show it. So come on in. So this is, is it all right? It doesn't look too overexposed. No, it's fine. Sure. Yeah. So this is the upstairs bathroom and the flooring we went with is kind of similar to downstairs, but it's a little bit lighter, isn't it? So on the wall, we've got these marble style tiles, which we weren't, when we actually came to the house, we weren't actually, we thought they'd look a bit different, didn't we? They look yeah. different on the portal thing. These, these are the one thing we didn't see. Yeah. We saw everything else in real life, didn't we? But we didn't actually we see didn't these tiles. We didn't get to tiles, see this. So. And we thought it would look a bit more higher end, but you can just tell it's cheap, fake marble. So probably next year at some point, we're going to replace this. On here, we've got these to match. So they're like marble style soap dispenser and our toothbrush holder. And then our mirror is the same as what we've got. It's a bit dirty. It's the same as what we've got downstairs. We're going to change this too, aren't we? Because it just we doesn't are. really fit. We're going to get a bigger mirror with probably with storage. Yeah. Um, down below the sink, we have got this little white tower, wooden tower, which we just store some little bits in. It's all our skincare, isn't it? Yeah, just like essential bits for the bathroom. And then we have got a towel warmer, is it? radiator yeah, yeah um with the same towel as what we've got downstairs which is also from h&m but just in white i love this sort of print and then we've also this is very recent but we've just got a towel holder because we used to put them on the banister didn't we and it would be a bit like crowded okay coming through to our spare bedroom slash makeup corner slash office so as you come through here we have got our sofa bed which is from Made.com. Made.com. Um, yeah, I, this I, took ages to come, didn't it? But it, it got did. Here eventually. Yeah. I personally think this is a, such a good sofa bed because it doesn't take up loads of room. Yeah. It's so sh small and compact, but then it folds out into a complete double bed. I just think it's yeah ideal. Above the sofa bed, we have got some frames here. We still need to put stuff in here, and we're probably going to add a few more above here. Yeah. We want like a big photo wall here, don't we? Yeah. Just covering this because it's got our address on it. But yeah, this is still a work in progress. So this is my dressing table, which is actually due to change again. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this chair. Um, I'm gonna think about what I want to do on this wall. I saw in Ikea that they had like leaves, like a leaf wall. Anastasia Kingsnorth has had one in our old house and it looked really cool actually. So I might do something like that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna go for more of like a neutral color. Yeah. Because I wanted this and that to match so that it had like Yeah, my I mean, paint. originally I had that before we bought this. Um, and now that that's come, they're obviously different colours, so... It's completely different, and I just don't like the way that it looks. And we're also going to, I think, panel this wall, aren't we? Yeah, eventually we're going to do, like, halfway panelling oh, along. Oh, you want to do the halfway panelling? I think so, yeah. Well, we're well, going to panel either way in this room. For any yeah. girls watching, that's what, that's this where is I'll... my makeup drawer. It's <laughs> a bit carnage, but... I've never been able... I have never been able to have one of these before. A makeup. So it's just nice to be able to not have my makeup in a bag yeah if that makes sense when we were in the flat you just used to do it in the kitchen didn't you yeah so it's just nice to have my area now yeah um, of all my new makeup and stuff yeah so we've got my corner of the room my office which is where i do all my working from home all my editing for youtube videos and all that kind of stuff 
I have done a video on this, setting up the whole office, so if you want to check that out, click above. But I'll give you a quick overview. So I've got a flexi spot height adjustable desk, so this goes up or down so that you can have it standing. I've got my BenQ monitor, which is from work. Um, my two laptops here, lots of little bits on here, which I use every single day. My notepad, little lamp in the corner there, and then this corner's a bit of a mess. I'm probably gonna change this and have, we're gonna get rid of this, and yeah, I'm still yet to figure this corner out. But basically, this is just storage for stuff that I use day to day. Um, and my camera bags and stuff in the corner. So that is our house tour. We kept it raw for ages, right? I've been putting this video off because I wanted to film it like really clean, but in reality, <laughs> what? What do I look like with this? Oh, with the rabbit in the background. For ages, I was putting off making this video because I wanted it to be really clean and get really nice shots, but the re reality of it is, I'm just never gonna get around to doing it like that. So we've done it in more of a raw format and a longer video. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is our house. We absolutely love it, don't we? Yeah. We've been here for what, four months now? Mm. And like, it's just so exciting being able to have your own space and do it exactly how you want. And something changes every weekend at the moment, which yeah. is like, it's nice. Yeah, it's our new weekends. New edition every yeah. weekend, and it's getting us through lockdown. So. Yeah, it's kept us busy through lockdown, and our DIY skills are slowly improving. Mm -hmm. If you regularly watch this channel, you would have seen us progress from using a saucepan to <laughs> actually being able to hang stuff on the wall properly. So if there's anything you want to know where we got it from and we didn't say, just leave a comment down below. And we would love to hear about what kind of house you guys have or if you're looking to buy a house, all that kind of stuff. Drop it in the comments below because we read and reply to all of the comments. And if you want to see more content and come on this journey with us in our first home, then make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow our Instagram account because we post on there as much as we can, yeah. don't we? Yeah. <laughs> if the camera's been like this the whole time, it's her, okay? But thanks for it's filming. It's quite a heavy camera, you know. Halfway through this video, I realised I'm filming it in 4K, so <laughs> it's going to be a nightmare to edit, but if you've enjoyed watching it in 4K, then <laughs> that's nice for you. Drop a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. That's a bit better. So, with... <laughs>